In the future, hydrogen will be an important uh, energy source. Uh, hydrogen can be produced in different ways, but in Norway, one idea is to produce the hydrogen on a platform and then to transport it in the existing pipelines. continental shelf we have approximately now 9,000 km of pipelines that can be used for transport. But the challenge with uh, old pipelines and also new pipelines is that hydrogen when it is in contact with, with the material the steel, uh, hydrogen atoms can be absorbed in the material. When atomic hydrogen is absorbed in the material, it will travel in the material and will uh, be collected in areas with high stress. And that means that the material will then, the bonding in the material will weaken. And that means that the mechanical load of the material, material have to be reduced. If not, it will fracture. And that will also then be a problem and that's what we want to avoid. Antonio and Sintef, we have been uh, research, done research on uh, hydrogen and bitumen uh, on metals for many years. But we have lacked this type of uh, lab uh, equipment. Uh, the lab consists of three different labs. It is what we call the analytical lab, the nanomechanical lab and the micromechanical lab. Uh, the labs are located in two different locations. We have uh, two of the labs at the Glösavigen campus, that is the analytical lab and the nanomechanical lab, and the macromechanical lab is located at the Tiller. And in this lab, we use specimens that are more realistic uh, related to, to real components in the field. And this equipment is also unique since it can be used at high gas pressure up to 500 bar and 200 degrees C. So with this equipment, we are able to expose samples under constant load, under uh, uh, fatigue load or other loads, to see how hydrogen uh, affects the mechanical properties of the material.